Hey everybody, it's Craig Fitzgerald at BestRide.com. We're going to find out if it's possible to drive a Corvette in the snow. Chevy sent up a 2015 Corvette equipped with Michelin Alpine PA4 snow tires on it. And we're going to drive it around a bit in uh, eh, three or four inches of snow and see how it does. The biggest consideration in a car like this is tires. Um, this one came with, uh, these are Michelin Alpine PA2s which are pretty substantial snow tire. They get a lot of, um, lot of siping, uh, pretty aggressive tread. The idea is that this is a performance tire that you can drive in the dry conditions, which, and it handles pretty good. It's a little squirrely underneath, but they're quiet. I like a narrower, sort of smaller diameter snow tire, but you're really limited by the size of the brake rotors in this, on the size of the wheels and tires that you can get. So these are pretty acceptable. You're gonna, this is gonna give you much better performance than you know, something like a, a, an all-season tire on a car like this that has a pretty decent sized tread width. There's a guy in a plow truck that I... <laughs> He's having a little few issues over there in that four-wheel drive plow truck, getting that thing stuck. That's why you need tires, folks. The second thing is electronics. What's in the car to help you out? This thing has got a winter mode, which is great. And it's also got a, uh, a, a button where you can turn the traction control off. What the winter mode does is it basically backs off all of the input. So throttle input is a little less aggressive. The other thing I like is that uh, you can turn the traction control off. Uh, sometimes, you know, the, the, the traction control wants to manage you to the point where you can't make any forward progress. You don't want that either. You want momentum. The, uh, the other thing is um, ground clearance that you want to be aware of. You want to be aware of how low the chin spoiler is. What's the lowest point on the car? Where are you going to get hooked up? Um, where are you going to get hung up on, on deep snow? This snow isn't deep. This is four inches of snow. It's not that big a deal, really. The last thing you want to consider is your experience. Um, you don't want to make a raging snowstorm the first time you go out in the snow. You got to get out there and have some fun. You got to drive the car a little bit, understand what it's doing underneath you, um, see how it feels, do it locally on, you know, snowstorms that maybe aren't so. Uh, that maybe aren't as uh, uh, you know aren't as bad as a cop in that parking lot right there, kind of making sure people aren't in there doing donuts, which is a shame because that's where I was headed. Because um, that's the other thing is you know you get in the park, get yourself in a parking lot, you do a few donuts, you sort of make the car do some things underneath you that you're not used to. That's going to build your experience and help you understand what the car is going to do um, when you really need you know, when you really need the help, when you really need to understand things are going bad, you know, you feel the car moving underneath you, you want to know what you're supposed to do. You want to, you know, hey, which direction am I supposed to turn in? It becomes intuitive after a while. It's muscle memory. You've done it so often that, you know, you sort of understand exactly what to do. And every car is different. All wheel drive cars are different. Front wheel drive cars are different. I've never really been comfortable with front wheel drive. I've had two and I hated them both. Uh, because they do things very differently than a rear drive car does in the snow. Um, so buy a car that you're comfortable with. If front wheel drive is your thing, get a front wheel drive car, but don't be afraid to buy a rear wheel drive car because it might snow three or four times a year. I'm going to turn the traction control off here and we're going to hang this out a little bit. Show you that's what it's going to do if you've got the traction control off. The ass end of the car swings out. You don't panic. You turn in the direction of the that, that you're uh, that you're traveling. It's not that big a deal. Um, you know, people get panicked when when that happens, and and you know, it, the first time it happens to you, it's a little spooky. But you know, the next 28 times it happens to you, it starts getting fun, and you start looking forward to it and doing it on purpose, which. Uh, you know, you release your inner Ken Block a little bit. You get to do things that, you know, that he's doing on dry pavement at 75 miles an hour. You get to do at, you know, 12 miles an hour or 25 miles an hour and reduce the risk of getting hurt. Um, and it's, it is all a part of just being comfortable with, you know, what a car does and how it reacts 
in the snow. All right, so this right here, this is pretty much the worst possible scenario. I'm at the bottom of the hill over here. I'm gonna start at a dead stop and we're gonna climb that hill. Um, it's a pretty steep, it goes up quite a bit. So we're gonna run the cameras and we'll see how we make up. Little bit of wheel spin, the ass end kicks out a little bit. We'll be afraid of it. Corvette's gonna shift me to fourth automatically here, which is fine. I'm gonna climb right up this thing. Not an issue. I don't know who's calling me, but I'm gonna ignore him. He can live without me. that's it right you just climb up the hill snow tires let you do that the traction control lets you do that so look it go out buy yourself a Camaro buy yourself a Mustang get a Corvette get a Challenger get something rear drive that you can have a blast with get a Charger with that uh, that Hemi V8 is 36 grand it's my favorite car there's no reason to deny yourself that thing just to have all-wheel drive. There's absolutely no reason to do it. Get yourself a decent set of snow tires, have a blast, enjoy yourself. This is Craig Fitzgerald for BestRide.com. We'll talk to you later.